Underdogs might just be the best Quest 3 game available right now. Okay, no, it definitely is. This is the kind of mech game I've always wanted to play in VR. It's like a perfect mix of Pacific Rim, Real Steel, and that really cool Netflix show Love, Death, and Robots. But this game has an amazingly unique identity of its own, and I cannot wait to show you what it's all about. This video is sponsored by them, but they have no control over what I say. All of this excitement and praise is truly genuine, so hear me out. Because if you don't, well, you'll be missing out on some of the best physics-based destruction I've seen in VR. So what exactly is Underdogs, aside from the 5-ton mech speeding the sheet metal out of robot creatures? Well, it's a story about two brothers, Rig and King. King here has an artificial intelligence that's trying to take over his brain. Think like Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk 2077. But you play as Rig, his mech-fighting brother who must win these underground fights to hopefully find a cure. I won't spoil too much here, but I want to talk a little bit about the way the story is presented. Because before each gameplay and story act, you'll be shown a comic book style cutscene to give you context to the characters, the arena, and the overall goal. These do a great job of setting the tone of the world as dark and ruthless as it is, and the 2.5D art style looks really cool in the headset. I only wish that these were fully voice acted cutscenes, but the amount of dynamic voice lines you'll hear during actual gameplay kind of makes up for it, I guess. So let's talk about the gameplay. And where do I even begin? You know it's gonna be a good game when just the basic tutorial is incredibly fun? <laughs> this game is insane. Look at this. Okay, ready? Yeah, but faster. Bow. But the first thing to mention is the movement. I know not everyone will be a fan of it, but after hours of playing, I can't imagine it any other way. It's a grab and pull system, very similar to Knock if you've played that, so there's no joystick movement here. Which is good news if you ever get stick drift, but it works so well for this style of gameplay, because you'll be throwing yourself into enemies, bashing them away, swinging your arms wildly to punch while moving, and it's a ton of fun because it's able to create a true sense of weight and momentum, which is an essential contribution to feeling like you're actually piloting around a 5-ton mechanical suit. Try in the defense, bruv. Can't let him get through to you. But what really sells this thing's power are the arms. Your mech is called the Rilla for a reason. These oversized gorilla arms definitely pack a punch. The name also kind of explains the arm-based locomotion. But what's really cool about these arms, and the mech in general, is that it's totally customizable, but not in a linear way like you might expect. The other crucial aspect of the gameplay is that this is a roguelike, which basically means that you'll play through the same levels over and over again, but with drastic variations to the weapons, the enemies, and the arenas. And I'm gonna be honest, I I normally hate roguelike games. To me, they usually feel like a cheap way to prolong a game's runtime, sometimes intentionally and unfairly preventing you from progressing until you get lucky with item drops or something. But Underdogs is one of those games that takes full advantage of the fact that it's in VR. And while some things are obvious, like how immersive the motion controls are, or the heads-up display being actually shown on the glass and breaking as you take damage, I'd argue this roguelike element is just as essential to the experience. Because here's why. The game tells you everything you need to know within the first minute of booting up. There's no need for an extensive tutorial, no need to get caught up on the story since it's presented very efficiently each time. It's the perfect casual game. Want to hop in for a quick 20 minute smashing session? Easy. Want to play through all three story acts and see the ending in one go? Go for it. Want to quickly show your friend how cool virtual reality gaming is on the Quest 3? I would absolutely have them play this. But just because it's easy to pick up doesn't mean it doesn't have depth. There are literally dozens of different attachments you can unlock for your mech, from chassis upgrades, different arms, claws, grappling hooks, swords, you name it. The nail gun is actually my personal favorite. Whoa! You just nailed that ball. Oh, the possibilities.
and some of these can completely change how you play, and each run you're likely to encounter something totally new. There's a place where you can see how many of the attachments you've actually unlocked or seen throughout your playtime, so you know how much of the game you still have left to uncover. This variety keeps the gameplay always feeling somewhat fresh, while sticking to its amazing core mechanics of punching and throwing. Seriously, the physics and destruction here are awesome. I also love how your arms have their own health bars, which when depleted means that you lose that entire arm. No more right arm. Shit, bro, swing that left. It is such an intense but thrilling struggle to have to punch and move with the same arm as you're being swarmed with enemies. I also kind of love how annoying these enemies are to fight. The fact that they can grab and yank your arm out of your control is such a weird feeling in VR, and I will never get tired of punching these guys midair. Come on, jump at me! Hurrah! The weight and sound of that is just perfect. Come on, jump at me! <laughs> Headshot! 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 And if you have the claw attachment, you can even grab them out of the air and throw them into the grinder. one of the many environmental hazards that you can use to your advantage. There's these different arena modifiers that'll depend on which sponsor you pick before the fight, each offering their own rewards but with their own challenges. There's also decoy mines, explosive barrels, and an electric shockwave that tears through the arena. You can even get a friendly mech dog to fight alongside you. But the most fun combination I've had was definitely fighting with the nail gun and the zombie modifier, which revives every enemy for a small amount of health after you kill them. But with the nail gun, I could stick them into the ground to stop them from moving when they reanimate. If that's not the coolest thing I've ever done in VR, I, I don't know what is. But how exactly do you get these different modifiers, weapon parts, and mech parts? Well, the fights happen during the night, which leaves the daytime open for you and King to explore town. This is represented almost like a tabletop RPG where you have three turns. Morning, afternoon, and evening each present you with an opportunity. These can range from visiting a repair shop to fix up your health, or spending the day helping a mob boss rescue his daughter for a reward. There's even a reputation system that keeps track of your contacts, the characters you've met, and whether or not you're on their good side. Do right by people, and they'll give you a discount piss the wrong people off and they'll close their doors to you. I was at first worried that these interactions would get repetitive quickly, but there's a surprising amount of them. Plus, when you do get repeated interactions, it's nice to be able to see what the other options would have led to. But even several hours in, I'm still running into new characters and choices to make. There's tons of variety here. The only things that don't have as much variety are the enemy types. You'll mostly be smashing up mechanical roaches and dogs, occasionally fighting another mech as a boss fight, and sometimes these other large mini-bosses, but the enemy variety doesn't ramp up until the later story acts, which is a shame because on most playthroughs I don't make it past the second. I totally think this game should have a sandbox mode where you can use any attachments with any modifiers because this game is surprisingly tough. And with no difficulty options, you really have to bring your A game if you want to see the story through. So full transparency, I haven't even managed to finish the game yet, partially because of this difficulty, I'm like still stuck on one of the boss fights, but also partially because I was flown out of the country last weekend to visit a game studio for an upcoming video. Subscribe so you don't miss that. But back to Underdogs, and I cannot believe this game hasn't been made before now. It's one of those ideas that just makes perfect sense to be a VR game, and not only is the concept great, but the execution actually lives up to it. The gameplay, the graphics, the art style, the sound design, the music is all working in sync to deliver an amazing amazing VR experience that I would recommend to anyone who owns a Quest 3. And if you don't have a Quest 3, Underdogs is giving away 10 of them. Check the official giveaway link in the pinned comment of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed hearing me rant about how much I love this game. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment. I'm Virtual Bro, and I'll see you in the next one.